these are the biggest mistakes you need to avoid to increase your chin-ups from 0 to 20. I was stuck at doing less than 5 chin-ups for many years and then I took these 4 simple steps that increased my chin-ups to 20 reps in 14 days. So the first mistake you are making is never doing isometric chin-ups which is hold on tight. Isometric exercise is a scientific name for exercise where you don't move. This is perfect for chin-ups. The chin-up hold is one of the best ways to develop strength and familiarity with the movement when you are stuck doing under 10 chin-ups. You simply jump up and hold yourself above the bar for as long as possible. This requires you to use the same muscles that are involved with the full chin. They just don't have to move you as far and it cuts out the challenging part at the bottom of the movement. This key exercise was the major contributor to me doing 20 chin-ups. Next mistake you are making is never doing eccentric training which is lower and slower. What I recommend is working on the lowering part of the movement. This is where the muscles are being lengthened and you are working with gravity rather than against it. Once you have performed your chin-up holds, Focus on controlling your descent. This is important for developing the technique of the movement, but it also helps you build further strength. Eccentric movements also improve the strength and health of the joint. When you can perform very few chin-ups, adding in this long controlled eccentric can build muscle and strength and take your chin-ups to another level. Next mistake is you are not doing inverted rows. It is very rare to see someone performing inverted rows. It works your back, biceps and core and makes the body ready for more chin-ups. To perform this, lie on the floor underneath the bar Grab the bar with an overhand grip slightly wider than shoulder width. Contract your abs and keep your body in a completely straight line. Pull yourself up to the bar until your chest touches the bar. Lower yourself back down with proper form. The reason the inverted row is a great way to build your chin ups is because it strengthens all of the muscles involved in scapular retraction. Scapular retraction is important because it stabilizes the shoulders and allows you to recruit the big muscles of your back to perform a chin-up correctly. I perform inverted rows couple of times every week and saw tremendous improvement in my chin-ups. Another mistake is you are never doing weighted chin-ups. If you want to take your chin-ups to the next level, they also need to take priority within your overall training program. Meaning, I would recommend starting at least one session per week where you can really lift some heavy loads. During these sessions, we want to be working closer to 85 to 90 percent of your max, meaning each set should get you to at least three to five reps for three to five sets. As always, the goal is to still maintain perfect form but never reach technical failure. This weighted chin-up exercise will drastically improve your upper body strength and you will soon be doing 20 chin-ups easily. I hope this video helped you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get the latest videos. Coming up are the videos which you don't want to miss out where I share very important tips to increase your pull-ups and push-ups.